Well, it's Hope here at Crafty Hope, and welcome as I'm working on my day 31 ICAD. Now, what all do I want to tell you? First off, ICAD means index card a day, and it has themes and prompts from both Tammy Garcia of Daisy Yellow, and then Nina Fickett has some mixed media ICAD prompts. These are all optional. Um, I have information and links below if you want to check it out. And I showed you there at the beginning that I've got a little star on the back of my guard, which means I have pre-recorded this video. I am currently out of town. Um, and so, yeah, but this is day 31, which means it's the first day of July. Y'all, how is it July? I don't, I don't even know. This, this year is, I don't know. I thought 2020 was bad and I'm, I don't know. This year's being a little iffy too. So, um, this card today feels a lot more like me than yesterday's did. Now, don't get me wrong. I really do think yesterday's card is really pretty. It just wasn't exactly me. So for me, um, anyway, what I like to do with my iCADs is I take my index card. This year I'm using three by five index cards. They tend to be fairly thin and floppy and flimsy. So I like to add some collage to it. That helps jumpstart me into whatever it is I'm going to do. And, you know, covers up all that white space that can be so intimidating. And it helps bulk up these flimsy cards. I'm also trying to work through a couple of scrap boxes I have to, yeah, not create more scrap and use what I have. So I'm doing that using my Uhu glue stick, throwing just some scrap papers down. I felt like I was having kind of a pink theme there. Do y'all see the black and the pink kind of on there? It felt very, um, yeah, like I was going intentionally in a direction. I wasn't. For a last little touch, I'm going to throw some pattern paper also from my scrap box on top of a couple pieces and get started. Now, the, today's prompts, the Daisy Yellow prompt is postmark, and the Mixed Media iCAD prompt from Nina is distress. Now, I knew I could use both of those. For one, uh, I've got a couple stamps that look like postmarks that you would find on an envelope that's been sent. And distress, here we go bringing in one of those things, distress to me pretty much all of the Tim Holtz products are distress products. Um, this is a distress oxide spray. So I'm, and it's in cracked pistachio. So I splattered some on there and I think I'm going to spray it also in a minute. Um, so I'm getting some distress. I've also got a, um, like a sanding block over to the side that I'll try to bring in later, but it doesn't really help things at all. So I've sprayed that cracked pistachio down. I think I'm going to dry this card real quick. And then I'm going to bring in some distress, uh, some more distress oxide and black soot to stamp down these two. Like I said, they're, they look like postmark stamps. So I'm putting those down with that distress oxide. Now, one of the things I love and hate, I mostly love about distress products is they are water reactive. So I am going to take just a wet paintbrush and blur the edges of most of, I think all of those stamps <laughs> that I stamped down. Um, so just blur the edges so they have like a little bit of age, like they've, they've seen some stuff. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Y'all, I'm sorry, I'm cracking myself up. Like I said, I'm recording this ahead of time. I hope that's okay with y'all. I just feel like I'll be getting back in town on the 3rd. And I just, you know, I, I don't want to be trying to catch up on the 4th. And yeah, so I'm getting these done so that you have them to view and I have it done. Now, y'all, this is one of my favorite techniques. Um, if you've seen some of my other videos, you know I like that splatter, but you don't have to splatter directly onto the card. You saw I smushed that Distress Oxide onto that little piece of acetate, which probably was something that was covering a set of stamps or something, and then I sprayed it with some water and used that to put down, like... <sighs> to put down splatter exactly where I want it. It is a fabulous technique. Once I dried that, I'm trying to bring the sanding sponge in and I don't know, I sanded the sides and then tried to sand the top, but all I did was tear off some of that sewing pattern paper. And um, yeah, it took off a little bit of stuff there I didn't want to take off. So I'll bring in that cracked pistachio again and just, and you know, I get it, I don't know how, but I got that all over my hands. Look at that, I don't know. I don't know how that happened with that one little thing. 
Anyway, so I fixed that where I'd sanded it off and decide to go ahead and there's a wrinkle there that keeps popping up. So I'm going to go ahead and just glue it down. And I think there's another couple spots I find while I'm doing that and glue those down. And yeah, wasn't the best gluing job. So when I was in the process of all this, some reason I thought pink would look really good with this cracked pistachio and the distressed colors, distressed, the distressed feel of it. So I've got a piece of an old tablecloth that I'm trying to tear down and I've got some embroidery floss and a hot pink that I've already threaded onto needle. I actually broke the embroidery floss down in half so it was just three strands. Most of the time I use all six but... I just decided to use the three this time and I'm gonna put three buttons also on my card I was feeling buttons for some reason y'all I've got a thing for buttons I incorporated into a lot of my jewelry and I have a massive collection of buttons so there's no reason it shouldn't go in my art too I've also done a couple assemblage projects with buttons I might link one up in the right up there to show y'all some of the things I've done with buttons anyway I decided that piece of tablecloth was a little too stark white, so I went ahead, y'all. I didn't put any coffee in this one, but now I have. I put it on that piece of tablecloth and then dried it. And I'm going to go ahead and tack down that fabric with my Uhu glue stick just so it's not flopping around while I try to sew these buttons on. Now, I am not a seamstress. I don't know how you're... I mean, I've sewn buttons on, but I don't know how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> I just do it. So I do pre-punch my holes. I'll go in through the front so that I um, know where I want to start it. And I'm just going to, each of these buttons is going to get like two passes of the, the thread. I should have probably just kept it as one thread. One of the buttons, I think the last one I put down, I have a little trouble with it. I didn't take into account the size of my needle and the size of the button holes. So I have to do a bit of wiggling with that one to get this larger needle through that buttonhole yeah y'all that was and these buttons were I while I was getting my thread I was like you know what I need buttons and I've got like a bowl well I've got bowls of buttons all over my craft room but I dipped into one and found three white buttons and was like okay that's what I'm gonna use so that one had four holes on it so it gets the little x treatment and then these other two are just two hold buttons there, so you see how much I'm struggling. <laughs> just was like, oh, hope. Dang. So I'm like, and I, I thought about just leaving it with the two holes there, but I was like, no, it's it's moving around too much. I don't know that I can get it tight enough. So I'll go ahead and do the second pass through it. And then I grab my small talk stickers, the Tim Holt small talk stickers, and found the one that says, travel the world over to find the beautiful. I thought that really worked because the like postmark stamps almost feel like like something you'd find in a passport or you know on the back of a postcard somebody sends you or something like that so it felt very travely so that one felt appropriate but I decided I needed that pink elsewhere on the card not just on the buttons so I'm going to make several X's um, I'm gonna make sure it bleeds from the fabric over onto the card some and I'm gonna make sure I get it on the left and the right side of that that sentiment so I struggle here y'all I punched where is it it's right in here somewhere I punched my pilot hole and then just go through and oh my gosh let's see is this it and I realized, what have I done? This is not how this works. What it? So I have to unthread my needle so I could pull that back through. Yeah, y'all, it was a mess. I got a in here in a little bit. I'm gonna get a, a knot, but because the thread is so thin, I just I just keep going. I keep pulling that knot through the card because I was like, I'm going to make this work. Yeah, I really love how this card came out. It it was such a surprise. I'm like, I think I already said that this is much more, feels much more like me than yesterday's did, even though I do like yesterday's. So I'm finished. Yeah, there's my knot. And I'm like, oh, dang. So I get, I do work a little bit of it out, but somehow there's one little, one little part. Y'all, I'm persisting. <laughs> I'm going to make it work. So, okay, and I think my battery died there too, so 
it's all good. It's all good. We're going to get these little X's on here. I'm always drawn to doing X's with embroidery floss. I think it has something to do with my first experiences with crafting and with embroidery floss were cross stitching. I learned to cross stitch when I was about five years old, I think. Um, I don't do it anymore. I just, there's too much, yeah, too tiny, meticulous stuff. I don't do that. Um, <laughs> So, all right, so this is my last X on this side, and I'm just going to do one more on the other side. And then I decided, I decided I'm going to tape the holes for this. Like I said, the head of that needle was really large, so the holes on these are really kind of gaping to me. So I take some, once I tie this off, I'm going to take some masking tape and just cover up all of that ear area where I... Um, sewed where all of that embroidery flosses and that that gives me a chance to also write on top of that because I make notes about my what I'm gonna say and what these materials are for y'all on the back of these once I get done all right so I'm gonna tape this out I'm gonna give you a look at it and that is it for this card I hope y'all enjoyed this if you did give me a thumbs up make sure to subscribe and come back tomorrow and see what I'm doing all right thanks y'all bye